was as bleak as a wet Tuesday in Doncaster. It was a wet Tuesday in Doncaster. Very wet. Ask the groundsman. When you're in the trouble Doncaster are, the last thing you want is a floodlight in this condition. This is the cause of an attractive match against high-scoring Barnets being played when it's most difficult for people to come and watch. 30 or 40 foot up, it had a crack 11, 11 foot long and wide enough to get my finger down on the, the main support. So it had to come down, with a healthy one in another corner staring mockingly at it. The players are determined not to go the same way as the floodlight. Know that we're, we're striving and the board is striving to, to get the wages in week by week and although they have been late at times and they've had to go the odd week without them, um, we, we've promised them that they will get paid and they've accepted that. The referee passed the pitch fit, but would the fans come? Yes, even from Barnet. I'm about to take a day's holiday at a short notice. Is it worth it? It's worth it for Barnet, yeah. Are you a bit angry about it? Oh, I am. I'm not very happy about it, no. Among those coming in, a Barnet fan born in Doncaster with his uncle. I'm going to support Donny. Idiots going to support Barnet. <laughs> it's a sad state of affairs when, when, when the lower echelons or the so called lower echelons of football are. are being put, pushed to the wall. It would have been sadder still if Barnet had gone in front here, as they nearly did, but the town's authorities say they need the club to survive. By having the name of Doncaster there, and on a Saturday evening when people look at it, irrespective of whether you've won or lost, they look at Doncaster, and while that name's there, it's promoting it. Soon, things were looking up in the cash office and on the pitch. Mike Jeffrey scored the goal that brought Doncaster's fifth win in 36 games but the chairman's under no illusions. It's still a serious position you now, but uh, everyone connected with the club and the supporters, they're all rallying around. The crowd turns out to be 1,200, bigger than expected, but down on an evening match. I would say we've probably lost 600 people, which might equate to four, four and a half thousand pounds. But the victorious team are grateful to everyone who did turn out. Thank them very much, and as I say, we'll try and, and uh, repay them in, in the next coming months and certainly next season.